Hi there, welcome to yet another face maker video tutorial. This time I'm going to focus on one topic that confuses most new users, uh, which is how to start designing a watch face, um, especially if you don't have Photoshop or GIMP skills. Uh, it can be quite difficult for you to start. So what I'm offering here on this video is a way for you to uh, build your own watch face um, without any Photoshop or GIMP skills, uh, just by using FaceMaker, okay? Uh, many have their uh, own technique to start making a watch face. Mine, I use uh, reference, I use inspiration from other watch faces. And what I usually do, I just boot up uh, Chrome or another browser and I just, uh, I don't know, I search for watch face design. And if you switch to images, uh, you'll see you have a lot, a ton of uh, watch faces uh, available, or at least inspiration uh, for watch faces. And and that's that, so you can just, you know, go and Google uh, watch face design and get inspired by the images that uh, Google will, um, will give you as a result. Um, I usually do this, and but first I think about what I want. So do I want a uh, analog watch face? Uh, digital watch face or both an hybrid um, what do I want to display do I want to display steps uh, heart rate uh, uh, are you a sporty kind of guy or girl or uh, do you prefer simpler watch faces uh, so yeah this is all things you have to think before you start making a watch face okay so many people prefer this kind of uh, watch face, uh, simpler ones, um, or like this, uh, I mean, and others uh, prefer more complicated uh, watch faces. Me, myself, I am not a, a particular fan of, of complex watch faces. I prefer uh, readability and, uh, you know, uh, watch faces that are easier to read and uh, because Let's face it, uh, what is a watch uh, worth for? Uh, I think it's <laughs> to display the time and uh, the date, perhaps. And, and if you want to, one or two uh, aspects connected to health, like steps or heart rate um, and things like that. So yeah, you should think first, what is your objective? What do you want? If it's analog or digital? what kind of colors you want to use on your watch face this is also important so for example this one has a red tint to it um, this one is more monochromatic i mean yeah you have to think about these things first or you can just look at the watch faces that google outputs for you and you know get inspired and choose one to start uh, building uh, watch faces, okay? So, uh, for this video, I started off by um, searching on Google uh, for watch face design and I came um, to find this image here. So, this will be our reference. Uh, you will see that it has hands over these, uh, these are called complications. Um, and this will be a chronograph, okay? So um, I took the uh, brand out, so uh, yeah, we don't get into trouble. Um, let me just open this on GIMP. I use GIMP uh, if you prefer Photoshop or something like that, so it's your choice. I use GIMP if, because it's free and it suits my needs, so yeah. This will be our reference and what I usually do, so I downloaded this from the internet, it had a watch um, a frame around it and uh, the leather strap and all that. I took all that out uh, and isolated only the part that uh, we need. 
and this will be our reference. So let's start uh, face maker. This is the latest, the latest of the latest versions. Uh, I have just uploaded it. And um, okay, I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use GT3, or perhaps let's switch. Let's switch into uh, GT3 Pro, um, which is here, and submit. And there we go. Now we are ready to go. Um, so to start off, we need to set that reference image uh, we have on GIMP. And for that, we had a background main container. So this will be the lowest uh, on the hierarchy of the layers. Um, and had an image widget. So we could uh, load that image, but I will do it um, in other ways. So basically, I just have to come in here and press Control C, and then click the image preview here and press Control V. And there you go. Just like that, we have the image loaded onto FaceMaker. You can use this technique to load just about any uh, uh, static image. Uh, by the way, this won't work with uh, uh, animations. I'm working on it and I'll uh, add support for um, copy pasting um, animated images onto the image preview here. So if you want to load, for example, a animation on frame by frame, you could simply copy a GIF from an online source and then just uh, paste it here, okay? But that's not uh, developed yet, so yeah. So now we have the reference and let's get to it. So let's add an image. And we'll start by creating this uh, white background, which is the easiest thing we can create. So yeah, just press generate. And we have this uh, square here. that's using this gradient here. So what we need is to make it the same color as the uh, this uh, white background here. So just press the gradient picker here. Select one of the stops and then click the high dropper and just sample the, the color like that and like that. And we can add it to the favorites. And this is now done. We have the same color here. So I'll put it on 0, 0, um, the coordinates, and you can see, see them here, up here. And uh, let's make this the same size as the watch canvas, 466 by 466. And you have this information uh, up here. So if you notice, uh, Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, 46 millimeters, and uh, dimensions of the screen are here, so yeah. Uh, let's lock it and hide it for now because we need to add all those images and by the way We'll be making them on Exclusively on FaceMaker. No other software will be used for this watch face. Okay, so everything you see here will be made on FaceMaker so let's add now a image and press generate and this time we're gonna uh, select the uh, dial here and what this does, let me just change the, the color here. So you see immediately what it does, it creates a dial like this. Now we don't need the digits, the numbers, uh, but we'll need, absolutely need uh, to create these marks uh, all around the, the watch, okay? So for this, we're going to zoom in and enable minutes just like this let's uh for now let's use a red color so you can see what we're doing um move them towards the center like this and don't worry that they don't exactly match uh, those from the reference uh this just means that the reference is not uh perfectly centered uh, so don't worry about that. Just follow whatever uh, FaceMaker creates for you, okay? So yeah, uh, they're here, so they're on the correct starting point. And now we'll just make them longer, 
until they have the same length as those uh, black ones from the reference and basically this is done I guess um, yeah we just need to change it to black like that and this is now done oops sorry I disabled the digits the marks I mean and press uh, generate to disable the, the generate and uh, yeah this is now done those uh, outer or longer uh, marks are done. So let's proceed and add uh, yet another image. We'll have a lot of images here and remember uh, you can always uh, merge them using this icon here but we'll leave that for the end. Uh, for now let's just create the graphics we need. So right now we need to create these smaller marks here and this is uh, very easy with FaceMaker. So all we need to do is press generate, switch the dial, make it the same size as the watch screen, disable the digits. And now we are going to enable minutes again, switch to red so we can see what we're doing um, and just move them the starting point. So let me just zoom in a little bit more here. Um, I think it was 11. Yeah. And now the, the, the length. And by the way, we need them to match uh, these, not these. So what we can do here is just rotate up here. Rotate it by 1.5, I guess, or 1.2. I think it's 1.2 but it doesn't matter this is not uh, definitive so we can change it later um, okay so it seems to be uh, the correct length I guess so yeah it's 12 and let's uh, revert back to black and this is now done I guess uh, let's enable the white background so we can see what we have here and um, okay so we can now just revert this to zero and it will be hidden behind those uh, the longer ones and what we need now is to have a array rotation okay so let's increase the iterations one two three and four and let's say 1.2 I, th I think no it's uh or rather uh, five iterations. Let me just check the background and that's it, that's perfect. So you see what we have achieved with this uh, array rotation modifier. So all these modifiers, we will find them on, the, on this tab. So for each uh, widget here, you have these properties and these tabs, okay? So this is the basic properties of the widget. Uh, here you can apply uh, effects, so in this case I applied a array uh, modifier or effect and if I wanted to I could just simply, you know, fill color, for example, and fill it with uh, red and make them all red, for example. So you can change uh, colors, you can change a lot of things. Um, and you will soon see how versatile and great this tool is. So yeah, so this is applied and we can now uh, simply ap apply all and it will make it a finished graphic. So uh, the array is now applied and these um, pixels are all burned in. Uh, <laughs> Um, they exist and they can be used now. Uh, I could have left them uh, unapplied here, but uh, we have no advantage in that, uh, so it will be cleaner this way. Um, and we can proceed now. So uh, we have those marks all around made, and we now want to make uh, these marks here. Okay? And this is again very easy to use to, to make on FaceMaker. You just add an image, press generate, 
okay and now let's place it uh, somewhere up here um, now let's make it like 30 perhaps no this is way too much um, I'd say 22 perhaps um, let's try to center it the best we can uh, and maybe 23 let me just lock this uh, this widget here because then uh, the uh, border will disappear that border it can sometimes it gets confusing uh, and it gets in the way so this way is it is locked and now let's try to size it more or less for the content not this border this white border or the gray border around it um, and yeah let's try to make it the size correct uh, so yeah this is more or less what we need I guess and now we need to create this uh, this set of three colors here and this again is quite easy all we need to do is sample those colors we'll have a new color here in the middle and by the way you can achieve it by simply clicking uh, this uh, bar here and to remove it you simply click and drag down click and drag down okay so yeah we have this um, this color to start with and then I'll add a new one here and sample this whitish uh, kind of white color I guess and then add a new stop there and by the way let's just fine-tune this transition so it it gets more crisp just like that so remember the closer the stopper the stops are the crisp the transition will be okay so just a little bit to the left and okay now this is done and finally uh, add another one and this one will be the dark gray color you see there um, and yeah more or less like this and arching the transition here like that and uh, okay so yeah I'm gonna make it just a tad smaller and move it on the Y axis move it down um, this might need a little tweaking here uh, the transitions um, let me just see here just one moment and yeah this is more or less what we need so head it to favorites and uh, this is now done okay so what we need to do is uh, simply um, first we should uh, absolutely check if this is the correct size because we made it here you notice that we made it there and it seems to be a little bit on the wider side I guess um, but we can easily check it so uh, we can come in here and press crop to canvas okay and now when we rotate it will rotate around the uh, absolute center of the watch face and as I su suspected it needs to be at least two pixels uh, smaller I guess um, let's just remove the rotation and crop the uh, content and then make it oops sorry uh, two oh yeah I have the uh, aspect ratio locked here um, so yeah now we can make it uh, two pixels uh, smaller like that and this should look perfect now so let's crop the canvas again and then hide this background and rotate it and this should now be more or less 
yeah, I think, well, perhaps 19, yeah, perhaps we need to further, um, yeah, I think I need to tweak it just a little bit more, so let's make it 19 width, let me try to center it, like that, okay. So this is done, I guess, uh, crop the content. Um, make it 19, of course. And now let's apply an effect, uh, a border, make it uh, two pixels wide. And then let me just check here. So yeah, this has to be white, okay. And now add another border, and this one will be a light gray, like that one you see there. Okay, and one pixel uh, should be enough. So apply all, and now we have uh, this uh, image here. We can use to uh, replicate all around the the um, the watch, the watch face. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna do that easily by uh, applying a array rotation, just like that. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, eleven. And then uh, I'm going to rotate each one of them by 30 degrees. Oh, by the way, haha. First, I need to make it the same size as the watch face. So let's crop the canvas again, and then apply the array rotation, uh, set it to 11, and rotate by 30. And immediately you will see, oh, it's 12. Of course it's 12. Oh, silly me. So yeah. Now you can see uh, how this is coming along, which is uh, nicely, I think. Uh, you will notice that we have some uh, extra ones we don't need. These, this, and this one here. So let's apply. Let's come in here and press uh, an image. And you know, this tool is uh, good to, for um, simple editing like this one. So we need to delete these and we can easily do it, do it like this. And then we'll save modifications. And, and there you go. This is now And yeah, I forgot to delete this one. And we can now uh, try another thing. For example, we can add a image. And it doesn't matter what it does. So we can simply uh, copy from background. And this will copy anything that is uh, behind that uh, widget border and paste it into the widget as an image, okay? So now if we put it here, Okay, and then select merge and subtract. There you go. Another way you have to delete a content from an image. And this is very, very easy to achieve. So yeah, this is done. Let's proceed. We need to make those two up here. And uh, I'm gonna do just that, just add an image and press generate and we already have that uh, gradient we created earlier so this will be like 18 perhaps or maybe even smaller yeah say 14 and I forgot the height but we'll try to match it something like this and let's just zoom in and lock it now all we need to do is match it the best we can, just like that. And 
okay needs to be thinner and shorter and there you go um, this is now generated and now all we need is uh, to add borders uh, so this one is two and it's white like that and finally a border a gray a light gray border something like that should be fine and apply all and then all we need to do is uh, duplicate this one and pull it to the side and yeah I think this is all done now as you can see it is exactly like the reference we had and I think this works uh, nice nicely uh, now let's proceed and create those uh, dark backgrounds you see there and this again is very easy on FaceMaker you just had another uh, image widget and then we simply um, press generate as usual and we'll select a, a gradient that is already uh, dark with only two uh, stops so this will be easier for us to you know repli replicate and now um, once this is done I'm going to place it more or less in place like that lock it so we can see what's uh, better what's behind and uh, I would say this is more or less like uh, 140 no, less 137 perhaps or let's make it 135 okay so 135 135 and try to center it just like that and yeah this is done and now all we need to do is come into these this uh, scissor icon and press the sphere and it will become a sphere and all we need now is to make uh, this inner shadow or this inner glow you see with a uh, darker uh, gray color so this is very easy to do again with using effects and we'll select the inner shadow you can also just search for it and there we go uh, already you can see what it's doing let's increase the blur something like this and perhaps not so dark um, yeah this is good enough uh, apply and there we have it uh, this is now done we can simply replicate and drag it to the side it has to be unlocked of course and it's not this one it's this one so yeah we'll just move it to the side and clone and place it more or less I mean we're just you know trying to get things done um, well okay this is now ready uh, to receive those uh, mocks um, if you notice so let me just hide them for now this one will be I think for the seconds this one for minutes and this one for hours for the chronograph hours okay so yeah let's start doing them uh, I see they have one two three longer ones um, okay so let's do it very quickly here um, for, for now we'll just add the image uh, and as usual press generate switch the dial um, um, hide the digits and make this uh, just three I guess and I need the uh, let me just take a look 60 20 and 40 
so uh, we can move it in place already and let's make it 135 I think plus the size and yeah and for this we'll use the hour marks so you can see there um, let's hide this and try to make uh, make it make them the correct size so okay they need to be wider something like this uh, move them towards the center yeah yeah this is perfect and now I will simply rotate this by 60 okay and now you can see they're in the right spot right there and uh, okay let's uh, make them longer and yeah this is correct so this is now done new image and we'll make the smaller ones and this has like one two three four five six so twelve uh press generate Place it here and switch the dial uh, 135 uh, with 12. Yes, and disable digits and enable the hour max here. And uh, okay, let's uh, move them just a little bit to the left, and I think this will be correct. Um, Okay, and now the length. Yeah, I think this this will do just nicely. Um, yeah, let's go with two. And this is now done, I guess. Yeah, and we can merge these. Uh, so let's do it at, oh dear, I'm doing. Um, let me just take a look here what I did wrong. Uh, yeah, this one is correct. And this one too. So let's try to merge them la now um, at, and there you go. It is now merged into a single image and we can now crop the content and make it uh, so that only the useful area of the graphic is used, okay? So this is now done and we can uh, also merge it with uh, the background, so add and there you go. Now this is uh, one image. And now we need to add the, the markings, the, or rather the numbers, 60, 20, and 40, okay? And this is very easy. Again, another image, and generate, dial, 135, and uh, we only need three, and this will be 60, uh, 10 and uh, 30 I think okay so let's make it white and uh, move them towards the center this might be too large let's make the number smaller something like that and now we can, yeah, I think this is good enough. I mean, we don't have to make the exact same uh, font we have here, but we can try. Uh, let me see, maybe this one, yeah. This one is a little bit more, if you look at uh, six, so the six is similar, although this is a bold font, but it will be more visible when on the watch. Uh, so I leave it as is. So Satoshi variable bold uh, size 21, perhaps uh, make it 20. 
and yeah we'll go with this one okay so this is now done we can now uh, simply merge it to the background there so add and it's now done we can proceed to the next one and uh, yeah here we're gonna need uh, 30 I think yeah it's 30 so let's add a new image and as usual press generate dial uh, 135 and add 30 fields like this disable the digits and enable our marks and uh, let's uh, place it I guess yeah this is correct um, and let's try to match that placement so something like this and the length Oops. Um, yeah and perhaps three width uh, and it should be correct I guess I think this is fine uh, let me just enable the background and yeah you can see that uh, it matches uh, so yeah we're going to use this image right here and now image uh, generate dial 135 it's getting kind of boring <laughs> I guess so make it three only uh, disable digits and enable the hours marks and yeah this is now placed um, okay so, so for this one one two three rotate by 60 like that and make them uh, uh, three pixels wide and much longer like this and now let's take a look yeah uh, I mean not perfectly perfect uh, but it will do I guess um, okay so we can now oops sorry um, we can now simply merge these um, let me see here yeah let's merge it so add and crop the canvas or rather crop the content like this and now we need the numbers which is uh, 30, 10, and 20, okay? So again, new image, generate, dial, 135, and uh, digits, and it will be three, uh, it will be 30, 10, and 20. Um, about the I think it was Satoshi uh, 20, 20 pixels, okay, so yeah, let's uh, try to match, hmm. Oh yes, I now remember I cropped it, so 135, so it looks smaller, um, so yeah, let's try to match the best we can, um, okay, and it was 20 I guess, yeah, it's 20. Um, let's enable the background so you can see what we're doing. Um, move it towards the center. And this should be just fine now, I guess. Um, yeah. This is now done. Uh, press generate and then just merge all those uh, graphics you had 
and there you go. This is one uh, one soul image. And uh, let's finish off by adding this uh, graphic here. Um, okay, so we'll need 12. Uh, but the hours, we might be able to do this in just one go. So yeah, let's add an image. Let's generate dial 135 and let's place it something like this yeah okay so let's select that uh, font that's Satoshi uh, font and make it 20 in size Oh, okay, so I was 12, yeah, that's it, so move it towards the center, like this, and now we don't need the one, or the two, the three we'll need, four and five, no, six, yes, seven, eight, no, ten and, and eleven, no, so we have those that matter now. Uh, let's add hours and minutes also. So we'll do this all in one go, I guess, uh, or maybe not. Uh, let me just take a look here. Yeah, not the minutes, just the hours. So this will take two steps, but yeah. Um, okay, and now let's uh, make them longer. Oh, by the way, let's see the width. I think that uh, four, yeah, four is perfect. So, okay, there you go. Um, I think this is done now. Okay, and uh, let's add one more image, and this will be the last one, I guess. Um, dial, and uh, okay. So it will be 12, uh, disable the digits and enable the hours like this and make it 135, of course, try to match the best you can that image there and 1, 2, 3 and now the length. Yeah. This is it, I guess, so I think it's 15, we need to rotate. Oh, but this is much, much, uh, these are smaller. I'll make them uh, three, and, or rather four, or perhaps three, and make them shorter. Okay, um, yeah, this is done. Okay, so now we can simply merge them. Yeah, it's this one and this one. So let's merge them. Add and add. And this is now done. Let me see if I can crop the content. And I can. Uh, this one is cropped and this one too. So we have all those graphics made. Uh, all made on Facemaker. We never left Facemaker uh, to do it on him or Photoshop. So yeah, you can see how easy it is. So I'll add a sort of uh, logo here in the center. And this again is very easy. Uh, we just add an image. And I don't know, uh, perhaps the uh, Facemaker logo would be in order here let me see i'm i'm checking my second monitor um i'm trying to find the face maker logo i know i have it somewhere uh let me just check um so logo yeah we'll use this one and okay let's paste it here And now we have the image uh, somewhere in here. And there we go, it is here. 
and you can also drag and drop. Um, so let's make it much, much smaller, something like 75, or this is uh, still uh, enormous, I guess, so uh, 60, and yeah. Let's place it there, and I don't want it to be red, because it has nothing to do with the rest. I uh, will make it a uh, grayscale. So let's search here, grayscale, and there we go. And this is perhaps too dark. Yeah, when compared to this one. Uh, let's add a brightness modifier, and make it just a little bit lighter. So it does match that uh, gray color. Yeah, something like this. We could have some accent, uh, some uh, something that will make it pop. Uh, so let's add a, an image. Press generate, and this one will uh, try to um, sample this color here. Um, yeah, something like this. And now, uh, I'll make it more or less the size we need. Um, okay, that should do. So let's uh, cut it, crop it to a sphere. And now you see what we're going for. Um, but it needs to be smaller, uh, perhaps 70. And uh, now we'll uh, try to center it. Something like that, you know. Okay, so locked, and let's uh, merge them, so add, and we have those images merged, and the logo is done. So we can now proceed and start adding, finally, some uh, data types here on this watch. And uh, for that, I'm going to, uh, let me just check here, we don't need the reference uh, anymore, this is now done. I guess so we can delete it just like that and okay we can then later merge these images um, let me just see here this one will merge and these uh, could also be merged I guess um, but maybe we'll do it later okay so right now we need to uh, add data types this image can also be merged to the background, I guess. So, yeah. Um, add, and there you go. Um, okay, let's proceed. And let's add the chronograph. Container. Uh, oh, we need to set the data type here. Let's search for a chronograph. And there we go. And let's add a rotary. Set it to chrono hours, I guess, yeah. It'll be this one here. And instead of using, or we can use something from the library, it might look better, I guess. Um, no, let's generate one, okay? Let's generate a hand. So, okay, make it, make it white or near white, like that. And we need it to be much smaller, let's say, 60 perhaps enable the uh, hand center and let me just show you what we're doing the hand center is there just remove that that is the container by the way um, let's press generate again oh, it defaults back to the to the background so to the center uh, at least while you're generating it, it always go, goes to the center, okay? So we should generate it here, and then we'll, uh, we'll move it to the final position. Okay, so as you have noticed, this will be uh, the hand that we'll put here and here. And uh, yeah, this sh I should have built an image first, uh, but you will use this uh, instead. So yeah, make it a little bit smaller, something like that, should do the trick. Let me just enable the, so the guidelines, 
and let me edit the guidelines and push this downwards so we can see more or less well where it will end as you can see there um, so yeah I guess this is uh, more or less done we need to add uh, perhaps a border and this is too dark let's make it like a fine a light gray something like this should work and uh, yeah this is now done we can now uh, press generate to so we can uh, save it to the library here and we're gonna uh, save it as I don't know sub 01 and press submit okay now we have this uh, hand we created and we can simply delete it for now and uh, let's go and add an image on the background okay and just bear with me because uh, this is necessary to achieve what we want because if you look at the generated hand it will look very simple so it's just this okay just a wide blotch of <laughs> Uh, something we made very quickly and doesn't have um, details so while it won't look bad it won't also it won't look very good so what we need to do is make it more complex and uh, for that we can add another image on top go into the library and press uh, elements and here on the elements we have these okay so we can load this one and center it more or less there I guess um, I think it's too dark um, so let's add a brightness um, modifier and let's make it lighter something like this should work yeah I guess um, and apply and concerning this uh, so we can now uh, merge it simply merge them so yeah just add and now this is uh, one image as you can see and we can now further enhance it by adding um, shadow so there we go uh, now let's enable the background because we need to kind of see the the shadow yeah something like this should work okay and apply and now let's switch into the um, properties tab and save it to library and this one we'll save it on the hands again and call it uh, sub 03 or something like that so submit and now we don't need this image we can delete it and now we can load it here simply by uh, adding a raw tree selecting chrono hours and going to the library and you can see I have made uh, some tests before uh, concerning this and uh, yeah we can now use it for all the uh, these gorges here this these uh, backgrounds um, okay we'll set the pivot Oh, by the way, this is the hours, so we should go in here and let's add it the guidelines and uh, put it here. Yeah, something like this. Uh, and remember, you can always uh, just reset it, reset the guidelines here. Okay, so yeah. Um, Let's try to match the best we can, the center of this. Um, and I think this will work. Okay, so now uh, let's add two more raw trees. Um, this one will be sticker of the seconds. Uh, library. And load that hand we made earlier. And there we go. Now we place it, um, and I think this is almost perfect. So all we need to do is place the pivot, just like that. And finally, the minutes, 
Chrono Minute, Library, and, uh, again, load that and you may um, place it. Okay, and this should be centered, more or less. Um, place the pivot, and we're done with those, okay? Uh, we need uh, a start-stop uh, button uh, for us to start the chronograph and, and, and uh, reset. So we'll have uh, an image set here, uh, set it to start-stop, and uh, we'll uh, generate. So usually uh, FaceMaker will create a uh, generic button uh, for you, which is not too pretty, I guess. Um, but yeah, we need empty images. Uh, it will be hidden. You yourself will know where to press uh, to start, stop and reset. So we don't need those indications. And it will start here. When you press this uh, complication, the chronograph will start. And when you press this one, it will reset. Okay, so this one will start and stop. This one will reset. Um, okay, so we can make it, uh, we can make everything um, transparent like this. This one, um, this one, just like that. And since we don't have a border, it doesn't matter. The button is there, that's all we need to know, okay? So, oh, by the way, let's call this, let's um, first save. So this will be, I don't know, um, we're on version 1.2.293, so B1.2.293. Um, and submit. Okay, so yeah, this is almost done. Um, we just need the uh, start, uh, the reset button. So reset and generate. And uh, this is using the last uh, setting, so it's everything is uh, transparent. So this is uh, what we need. So 100 by 100. And place it more or less here. Um, okay. Uh, this uh, container shouldn't be uh, needed uh, so we can lock everything and this is now uh, done okay you can of course uh, rename start stop and uh, reset uh, chrono hours uh, chrono uh, minutes and chrono seconds. There we go. Uh, if we press play, you notice that the seconds are moving already. So everything is uh, working as expected. And uh, uh, now for the analog uh, dial hands, we'll use some from the library because this is getting too long, this video. So we'll have a time container you can also add time uh, containers here on the widget. If you had a container and search for, I don't know, hours, you could add the hours or minutes. Okay, so this is very versatile and you can add them inside the widget main container. I'll have them on the time main container. Okay, so this will be rock trees. Um, we need three. And let me just take a look at the so hour twelve. Um, I'll have to find. I guess I'll go with this one. Yeah, and uh, we need to change the color to match this one. I mean, I don't particularly like this uh, color here. But it was the color that was on the reference, so I went with it, so let's keep it. Um, and for this we need a U uh, modifier, 
and this way we can simply change the color of that uh, center part there and I guess this is uh, more or less the color we need you can go also with the saturation and lower the saturation a bit so yeah now is uh, similar to the, that other color there um, okay we can now load the minutes so library and let's load that minutes and we have there and uh, let me just take a look at the effects so we went with the uh, 56 and 40 uh, uh, minus minus 40 sorry I'm looking at this uh, at a distance so we should be able to make it more or less the same um, yeah and now the saturation Yeah, not exactly, not exactly the same. Uh, let me just take a look here. So, minus 60, 58. Okay, so 58 and minus 60. And yeah, um, as strange as it seems, this look, this one looks darker, but it doesn't matter, I, I guess. Um, this should work. And uh, finally, the seconds. Um, there we go. Load a seconds hand from the library, and this one, yeah. We also have to change the U, so. Let's load a U modifier, and uh, yeah, this was almost perfect. Let's just remove some of the saturation, like this. Uh, hide the guidelines. And yeah, it looks cool. I guess, I mean, you'll be the judge of that, so yeah. Let's add, finally, to, and to finish this off, let's add a always on display. This will show when your uh, screen goes off. Um, this is what will be shown. So let's uh, come in here and just copy. Let me see. Yeah, we need this one. And I guess this one. this and yeah, I think it's this one yeah it should be down here and we can perhaps uh, merge it already so let's uh, add and now we need to copy it into this um, always on display background here so this is very easy. All we need to do is Control C. Having the widget selected, press Control C. Select the background container on the AOD and press Control V. And the image is there, but since it's black, you won't see anything. Uh, we need to apply an effect and select uh, Invert. And there we go. Now we have that Invert um, image inverted image I mean uh, let's hide for a moment uh, the time widget and we needed that uh, logo but we merged it with the background okay so we can still use it we all we have to do is control C and control V oh no oh, sorry uh, control C select the background container and control V okay so this is now on the background of the AOD and we will uh, invert it also. 
So let's go in here and uh, press invert. There we go. And uh, we also need to um, desaturate. So let's go into the grayscale modifier and there we go. It's now done. Uh, we can also maybe remove some of the brightness. Uh, something like this. Okay. And now uh, all we need to do is have the time main container and we will simply copy paste uh, those uh, hours and uh, minutes hands. So control C, select the time container, control V. And there we go. So they're hidden. So all we need to do is uh, show them. And yeah, we want it to be uh, grayscale. So, okay, so we can remove the U and just crank all the way down uh, the saturation. And the same for, um, I guess, the other hand, just like that. Okay, and we need an image to put above uh, to serve as a, uh, a pivot of the hands. So this is very easy, just add an image, uh, go into the library, uh, elements, and just select one of this. One of these should work, so let's use this one. Um, the hands are a little bit too bright for my taste. So let's uh, enable the preview, and let's go into the brightness, uh, adding a brightness uh, effect, and uh, make Minus 40. Yeah, I guess this is uh, perfect. Brightness and minus 40. And there we go. This watch face is done and finished. And we can stop the preview and uh, perhaps uh, export a snapshot. Like that. Save it on our desktop. Okay, and we can also take a snapshot of the always on display. Just like that. Save it on the desktop. And there we go. So, yeah, uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I mean, we never left FaceMaker to make this watch face. Okay, and all these techniques work uh, for AMAS Fit for Huawei uh, and for all the watches that are supported uh, by FaceMaker. Um, of course, uh, there are a lot of new features that I haven't shown you. So, uh, for instance, if I come in here, uh, oh no, I don't want to save. Uh, yes, I want to save. Um, I'll save it on the desktop, sorry. Um, okay, let's press new. For instance, there's a new um, a new calendar generator. If you come in here on the edit and tools, uh, you can generate physics, uh, generate calendars and image sets. So I'll show you very quickly the calendar and the image set generator. So the calendar is this. There we go. So you can generate uh, something that will look like a calendar. Uh, this is not a, this is a functional calendar, by the way. Uh, the, uh, the day that will be highlighted will be correct. So yeah, um, this is what it does. And uh, let's choose another font here. Uh, let's say, no, this one is too uh, thin. But you get the idea. Uh, you can create um, calendars and then simply have them on your watch. And, uh, and there we go. What uh, FaceMaker made was a clever um, a jigsaw of images, as you can see here, that will show and hide uh, the correct day and emulate a calendar so today is the 24th and there you go then you could simply have a uh, let's say 
uh, an image set and choose the uh, month here and press generate um, of course not with a transparent image or color I, I mean uh, we could just yeah there you go uh, sorry uh, it's kind of uh, 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 strong color but you get the idea uh, this is in Portuguese by the way uh, which is my mother language um, so yeah you can have a um, a calendar on your watch face you know let's delete all this like that and I'm gonna show you very quickly the uh, image set generator so what this does is you usually need uh, image sets for almost everything like heart rate zone or uh, the battery okay and it, it usually is an image that is cut in sections uh, so what it what facemaker does is exactly that so let's select uh, an image here just about any any image I guess uh, perhaps no let's go and get a uh, Let me just see here. Um, yeah, it can be the, this battery image or this one. Well, let's go with this one. Okay, so what FaceMaker does is you come in here and you select the start and the end. And FaceMaker will cut it in, in those sections, you see, okay? You can make them uh, large more or less depending on the data type. So for example, for Huawei, you need 11 for the battery, so I cut it in 11 images, just like this, okay? So once this is done, you can save them. So on the desktop, I'll create a new, uh, a new folder, let's call it image set, and save the images there, images saved. Now we can close, and here we'll add a widget container select battery there we go uh, image set battery and now let's go into the desktop and get that image set we created so date modified um, I guess I saved it on the desktop oh I'm I'm on document sorry um, image set there we go so here are the image. I can just drag and drop. Oh, I made one more than I needed. So right now we have 12. Now you get the picture. Um, and there we go. Uh, so if we press play. Now you see uh, what's happening. So FaceMaker uh, cut that old image, that image that was only one image, and made sections out of it. Uh, what it basically did was this, okay? And you can later just add an effect and, I don't know, go with a gradient, for example, and apply a gradient. Uh, let's go with this one. And uh, now let's... Uh, Sorry. Um, there we go. Now you see what we have here is uh, we applied that gradient to the to a white image, uh, and now we have something that uh, looks better, uh, depending on your taste, of course. Uh, you can also, for example, instead of gradient, go with a fill gradient, uh, which or rather fill texture. And this fill texture will use uh, an image uh, you have as a background. So let's choose this one. And use it as a background for your, um, for your graphics. Now you can see you can move or rather you can scale and make it yours, make it uh, the way you want 
So I guess this uh, hands this video. I would like just uh, to make a small mention for the new uh, face market, uh, which is coming very soon. We expect in the summer of this year. Uh, there you will be able to buy or sell your watch faces for Wear OS. Okay, so face maker will uh, support Wear OS uh, in a few or in a couple of months. So you're all invited. Please check the uh, video description. You will have a link where you can subscribe to the to an alert for when the face market uh, starts and opens its doors. Okay, so you're all welcome. Thank you very much uh, for watching my videos. As usual, thank you to all my subscribers and supporters, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.